So they kick in after 90 days of employment. You do have the medical, dental, and vision all through Aetna. There is uh, life and disability insurance, a 401k with company match and profit sharing. Again, all of that kicks in after 90 days of employment. We also have PTO time for you. That one kicks in after 60 days. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at White Lines Express out of Michigan. I believe it's Grand Rapids. I'm not even sure of that. But anyway, this is what they have for new OTR package. 25K guaranteed miles. They got a program for that. They average about $1,500 a week. 10K sign-on bonus. How is that 10K payout, though? Is it payout? As soon as you sign the dotted line, is it pay out over monthly installments? I'm going to go with the latter. Up to 60 cent per mile based on experience. It doesn't matter about experience no more. You can have 30 years of trucking experience and they're still going to bring you in at the base pay that they're going to start you at. Consistent freight. You don't have to worry about sitting and your home on the weekends. Is that weekends a full two days, which is Saturday and Sunday? Or is it just a 34-hour reset where you get in on Friday, have Saturday off, and then get back on Sunday? I don't know. If you'd like to know more about White Lines Express, stay tuned. How much, uh, how much experience are you guys looking for? Six months minimum within the last three years. Okay, okay, six months. Okay. Uh, what about a pre-employment dress screening? Is it hair follicles or urine or both? Um, for that one, I'm not 100 percent certain on. HR is the one that does it. Um, Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> what lanes do you guys run, and do you guys run Canada? So as of right now, we only have regional runs open. We don't go into Canada. We do the Midwest region and the East Coast. What's the mileage pay on that? So that is based upon your previous tractor trailer experience and what we can get verified. So starting out, you can make up to 60 cents per mile, which would get you a starting weekly average anywhere between 13 to 1500. Okay. Uh, for a person that has eight years of experience, and probably making a little bit more than that, uh, what can you bring them in and can you match what they're making? So I would not be able to do any of that. I'm just one of the recruiters. What I have in front of me, that's the set starting pay rate. Okay, very good, very good. Appreciate it. Um, how many miles do you, well, how many miles do the, do the drivers actually average there? Uh, roughly 2,500. It really just depends on the route. Are you saying this is regional? So am I able to get home uh, on the weekend and have two days off? Uh, yes. So you are home every weekend for this position. Now, for like a full 48 hours, it kind of varies on if you can or can't have those. Because, you know, with the trucking and everything, there may be times where you have to run early. So instead of leaving Monday morning, it may be Sunday night. And then, you know, if there are any delays, instead of being home Friday night, maybe Saturday morning. It just really varies as for the route. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, all right. So with that said, and you mentioned that I will, that I can't be home. The, huh? Would I be home for my full two days or would it just be a 34 hour reset? So that's where it varies. It, we try to get you home for the full two days, but sometimes it may just be the 34-hour reset. That's where it depends on the route. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, where are you guys located, and how would you guys get me out there? So our main terminal is in Plymouth, Michigan. That's where you would go for orientation. We would get you a bus ticket and everything to get you there unless you choose to drive yourself. Then you get reimbursed up to a certain up to a certain cent for mileage. I'd have to look up that mileage because I don't want to tell you anything wrong. But um, the terminal you would be reporting to every week would actually be in Jackson Center, Ohio. Uh, would I be able to take the truck home or would I have to drop the truck off and go home from there? 
that is something you have to confirm with the terminal manager. They have to verify you have secure parking for the truck. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Uh, speaking of trucks, uh, what kind of equipment that I will be driving and what, uh, what are they governed at? So we have Kenworth and Internationals, uh, 2015 and newer. They are manual trucks, 10 speeds. Is that going to be an issue? No, no. I'll, no? I, that's awesome. I'm not restricted, but go ahead. All right. So they are sleeper cabs. They're all equipped with APUs. We don't have inverters in them, but if you bring one in, we'll install it at no charge. Um, that's not an issue on that part. Now, as for what they're governed at, we are governed at 68 miles per hour. When you are on cruise, it is 70. Okay, sounding good. Manual trucks. Not too many companies have uh, manual trucks, you know, especially for drivers like myself that that's unrestricted. So, yeah, that, that sounds yeah. good so far. All right, do you got, well, what are the benefits and when do they start? So they kick in after 90 days of employment. You do have the medical, dental, and vision all through Aetna. There is uh, life and disability insurance a 401k with company match and profit sharing. Again, all of that kicks in after 90 days of employment. We also have PTO time for you. That one kicks in after 60 days of employment and you can accrue up to 80 hours per year. Awesome. Awesome. You guys got cameras in the trucks. Um, I want to say no, but let me double check that so I don't tell you anything wrong. Okay. Yeah, we do not have cameras in the truck. Man, mangoes, no camera, sounding good so far. Okay. Uh, pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my grandkid? Okay. So let me get that one pulled up. So as for the grandkid, ooh, let's see here. That one you may have to double check with processing or processing on HR on because according to this, it has to be immediate family members only. So like spouse, siblings, and your own children. That's not really including the grandchildren. For that, um, the rider must be above the age of eight. You must have valid ID um, for the child and everything you must provide birth certificate as well as signed authorization of parents. So again, that's something you'd have to talk more with HR on. Very good, ma'am. Okay. Do you guys have um, team opportunities or lease opportunities there? Not as of right now. No, it is all solo positions. And then we do have a pet policy as well. Um, I just had to get that information pulled up too. Um, it looks like we do accept one animal, either a dog or a cat, up to 65 pounds. If it is a cat, the front claws do need to be declawed. And we do not accept any violent breeds for dogs. Uh, do you guys mm -hmm. accept SAP drivers? As long as they are in return to duty status, yes, we can proceed. But, like, if something pops up on their MBR, like too many tickets, then that would be what disqualifies them. Okay, okay. So you guys, well, let me rephrase it. So you guys are SAP friendly and you guys are able to help SAP drivers in their return to duty status, right? Uh, yes, as long as they're already marked in return to duty status on their own and they like if they just need the return to duty test, but they are in return to duty status, we can proceed with that. Awesome. OK, I'll definitely pass that information along. Is there any uh, sign on bonus? Uh, for the regional run? Yes, it is ten thousand dollars and it is paid out in increments throughout your first year of employment with us. All right, cool. Uh, if I'm if. If I'm to go forward with you, uh, what I need to do, just go on the website and and just fill out the application from there, or do I just call you back? So if you want to move forward, yeah, you can go to our webpage and fill out the application from there. So thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, that's not a problem. I do thank you for your time, Lester, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Yes, ma'am, I will. Thank you. White Lines Express, everybody. Now, for you SAP drivers, I think you're going to like this. think you're going to like this information right here. 
I think you're going to like this MTC right here. White Lines Express, you say yes to SAP drivers. Yeah! Now, listen, let me, let me tell you. They said if you're in the return to duty status and you need a trucking company to continue helping you to get through the program, they will be there to offer some help. Now, as she said, you got to make sure that your record is clean, your driving record. But if you only have, if, if you need that return to duty status, this is the company for you. I know you guys have been looking. I know you guys have been searching. And I am here to find these companies that would give you the opportunity to get back behind the wheel of the truck. Now, let me tell you, drivers, another thing, you can't have restrictions on your license because she says that all their trucks are manuals. So... I know a lot of you probably have a little bit of restrictions, but if you're able to get that off your license and you're a SAP driver, then you'll be able to get on with White Lines Express out of Michigan. Now, the only thing that I probably will have a uh, receptive to is the fact that they get you up there by Greyhound. So find yourself a rental car, hop in that, drive up to michigan which is not that far especially if you're from ohio drive up to michigan and they'll reimburse you for you know the the amount that you took out for the car i guess make sure you find out a little bit more about that again i know you drivers hear me when i say that this is a sap company sap company friendly White Lines Express out of Michigan. What do you guys think of that call? I enjoyed the call. I enjoyed the recruiter. Thank you very much, ma'am, for all the information that you have given us for White Lines Express. Drivers, have you driven for White Lines Express? If so, let us know of your experience with them in the comments below. Is it a good company? Is it a bad company? Let us know. Is it worth driving for White Lines Express? All right. If you guys want to get your suggestions in, you can do that by three ways. You can hit me up in the Gmail, Lockout Men Podcast Guests at gmail.com. Hit me up in the comment session as always and if you would like to support the cause you can do that by cash app hit me up dollar sign lockout men and let me know who would you like for us to review i am lockout men and this is the mtc on the recruiter call channel until next time everybody who's next, who's next?